Look at that. Then we're gonna set You're gonna be able to see it. It's like there's only a couple left, but that one right there is just that's just an absolute massive dragon. Thanks for checking out the Iguana Man YouTube channel. This year we're going to be going on some amazing adventures, so thanks for tagging along. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hi there, I'm Florida Jit. Iguana Man and Iguana Ninja are the best in the world at catching iguanas. If you don't believe me, like, comment, and subscribe. Your eyes won't believe this. Females. This is going to be a good day. I can just already tell. Uh, 10 a.m., it's already 88 degrees, which is blazing just to start the day off. Ready? See what's good. Get all that bait. This might be the first day of spring, to be honest with you. Uh, daylight savings is actually. A all right, we need to turn up today. We need to celebrate. Oh man, it's the first day of spring, guys. Yes. Hallelujah. Now it's time to get back into that beach weather in the real Florida man style. You already know, we're gonna be catching swamp dragons in the day. We're gonna be hanging out at the beach or in the Everglades at night. All right, so here's one of Custy's house, like I said, with spring right here, a lot of reptiles. We passed by, we saw a couple of them here. But if you look right straight across, right on that little that dock or whatever that is right there, it's massive, massive. You go on, that thing is huge. You guys seen it too like the trees got to be covered up out here as well it's true they'll actually go up there and eat everything this tree unfortunately has seen better days but man there was like four or five of them out here it looks like there's only a couple left but that one right there is just that's just an absolute massive dragon monstrous It was in the 90s. Spring is here. Spring is here. It's true what they say, warmer weather brings out more iguanas. Look at that. Nice. All right, so he did swim across, but we did finish him. So we had to go over there and recover him, which is good. And there's another one over there. We're gonna try taking out right quick. He got a headshot and he's still up. 
not no more. Uh, island, we got water there, water there. Iguana's right in the middle. I'll show you this guy right quick. It's about to rain too. We'll come back here a little. Man. Chances are he's right here somewhere. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at that. Almost rolled right in. Word on the town, it's Iguana Breeding Central. So we're going over there right now. These are just two young little males. They're not even that alpha. Probably the new generation of iguanas. It right there four piece uh yep we'll come back out here at the right time and if it's if legend's true and the sun is out these females will come out underneath the bridge see them all right there it's a bunch of iguanas that was a little solo you know just out for an hour and a half not too bad i got a couple of them hey nice table fair right here taking out some of these invasive species out the ecosystem you guys are seeing it man we got to get them while we can the ones with eggs because in a couple weeks couple months they're going to be trying to dig underground tunnels to lay these eggs if they have not already so let's go ahead iguana man gang let's put these in the bag guys doing some more wildlife content as you guys know the weather is heating up today's actually the hottest day of the year 92 degrees and man we have some extra celery that we got from the grocery store and there's this area that used to have a lot of iguanas. So what we're gonna do is we just wanna kind of prospect and see what the activity's like. We're actually gonna chop up a lot of this celery real quick and we're gonna bring it to that area and stick a trail camera on it uh, just to see, you know, we wanna count how many iguanas are actually there. 
we we caught a lot last season but this is a whole new year so this is all just for you know gathering uh, analytics gathering some data seeing what's there if there's a lot me and the team will definitely go back out there try to remove them but uh right now we have to chop up the celery you want to come on this side right quick all right celery celery bright green it's like 90 percent water so this right that here definitely hydrate the waters that's what i'm thinking bud so we'll do it like that just chop it up a lot and of course there probably won't be iguanas out there but you know once we once we do this we set the camera it'll just be a matter of time so we'll be back we're gonna chop this all up maybe eat a little bit with some peanut butter and yeah we'll see you guys at the spot with those iguanas look at this perfect all right piece right there ready i'm filming yeah. say at least like 15 pounds of celery right there chopped celery all fresh so that's perfect chum perfect bait hopefully there's a lot of iguanas we'll definitely go back out there with the crew so we'll see you guys at the spot hey you actually make it really it's showing that it's 92 degrees out right now 92 so uh just you know having that sun beat on you it's uh definitely can kick your butt anyways the iguanas like it i don't know if they're out right now it might even be too hot for them what the heck look look over there what's that what's that i don't know <gasps> that's a cat Psst. hey buddy he was just passed out that was a main cone that was a main cone, that was a cone? maybe it's a main cone i don't know so we did a, we did a number in this area right here oh shoot look over there make sure you're filming buddy what are you at Hold on. yep just stay right there don't even worry about zoom so this is where we're at, guys. This is the territory of these iguanas. Come back over here, sir. Let's throw some of that. See if that attracts any. <laughs> Got all these flamingos out here. Stand back here, sir. Let's take a couple steps back. These iguanas are running. down buddy I'm excited so we'll just pop it right just pop it right there we'll get the whole POV of everything and I appreciate you guys I know you guys are looking at the, the trail camera videos so hopefully this one is epic we can learn something together that being said uh, we'll see you guys soon stop recording
we are back out here. But what do you call this? <laughs> Might be a potential nesting spot. bunch of ducks fighting or feuding. Holy smokes. Try and catch a duck? <laughs> yeah. Walk straight. There's two. Yeah, there's two of them down. Yeah, there's actually three of them. Go. Go, go, go. Try to walk straight. They might just stand there for a little bit. Wow. You see him? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. No, no, no. Go. Oh, wow. No, it's crazy. They went. Oh, whoa, look at them all. There's a bunch. Holy smokes. Yeah, there is. Wow. Wow, there's some big ones up there. Right there, no, on the thing. Yeah, so it's that Fraser virus. That's it's what you're talking about, huh? Yeah, Fraser virus. Been going on since December. -ish. That's a big one right there. That's probably one of the biggest, bigger turtles I've seen in a while. He's out. No, we still have some sneak heads on the water eggs. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Uh, and maybe iguanas too, iguana meat. Yes. Yep. Oh, out here, it's a little. You see this right here, Michelle? Holy wood! <laughs> Holy wood! Be careful at any moment, we can go through this. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> no, no, we should definitely use iguana eggs. Hey, 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 guess what, iguana man? Oh, yeah. These woods are sketchy. <laughs> damn like skippy like they are. You damn skippy they are. <laughs> Holy shoot. <laughs> like that? Yeah. You're you damn skippy. <laughs> I think there's just turtles in here. I was expecting to see some iguanas. But I guess there's nothing in here at the moment. I see fields of trash. Iguanas too. <laughs> Here. It's disgusting. They just like just throw crap everywhere. It's just the reality of it. I don't know where they come from, but <laughs> someone was getting their toes done in the lake here, and they uh, left their toes. See that thing right there? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. Ew, man, I feel... It's just people that just don't have respect, so they just throw stuff everywhere. They don't care. Yeah, it might be nice to not do a cleanup, but it'll just get dirty in a week. People have no respect. We're in this time and age where humans are having the biggest effect on our ecosystem. And uh, right there is your example. Disgusting. Sad. Oh, there's more trash right there. Michelle, look. That bitch is rotted out. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. Walk wide, walk wide. 